Welcome to the Marrakech News. I'm Iran Kilarosielam. Our top story today: We are traveling through time. It is the first event of the Puella Historia side story, I guess. So when this was first announced, I thought that this Puella Historia thing was maybe going to be another sort of main story arc, not arc three. Like arc two is basically the end of my record. There's not going to be anything. Uh, like main story related, I mean, like main story wise, there's not going to be anything after Arc 2 uh, chronologically, okay? Because at the end of Arc 2, okay, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but there's not gonna be an Arc 3 chronologically after that, it's not gonna happen. Um, but this is why I thought that this was going to be the new main story arc. If we can't continue forwards in time, then maybe we can just go back in time and just look at some other stuff, which is kind of what I thought that we're going to do when they first introduced Pula Historia, saying we're going to have events and stories about like ancient Megoka that lived thousands of years ago, hundreds, hundreds of years ago, whatever. I thought, okay, this is going to be the next main story thing that we're going to do, is we're going to talk about historical characters. But this is not actually going to be that, it's going to be something different. But let's dive in first. The first bit of news is that's going to be a Kimochi sometime in February? Probably late February, uh, whatever it says. Yeah, probably sometime late February you're gonna get another Kimochi. It's the Aquamarine one, which is, I think, where you play your fire characters. I think you play your fire characters on this one, so it's a flame Kimochi, yay. Moving on though, more importantly, we have not one, but two new characters. Yes, there are actually going to be two banners. This is the first of the banners. So if you don't like this character, guess what? There's gonna be a second one. So this is Chizuru, also known as Miss Daito. And uh, here's the thing about Jizuru is that she's basically yet another Flame Blast character for Kimochi Bait. There have been a whole bunch of these already, but here's another one. So yeah, she's Kimochi Bait, Flame Blast, what does she actually do? She's attack type, her connect does blast damage up, damage up and flame attack up, just, you know, blast stuff. Uh, her magia, uh, or rather her doppel, I'm gonna go with her doppel, is attribute strength and damage to a single enemy. Oh, that's kind of bad. Uh, it burns the enemy, that's okay. Uh, it does blast damage up, okay. Uh, and it gives flame attack up to self for three or five turns. Like one of them is three turns, the other one's five turns. And also gives blast salutation. Overall, it's just throwing a bunch of blast bonuses together, which is like, sure. And here's some fire. Like, this is this, this unit is just fire bonus and blast bonus, and that's all this character does. It's fire and blast. Do whoop do fucking do. Nothing special, really. Uh, spear enhancement the active is monopolized draw, so this immediately draws all of Chizuru's discs. So you're going to see exactly these five discs up here pop up at the bottom of your screen at, uh, when you use it. Uh, what else does it do? Um, by the way, the monopolized draw is not that important in my opinion. She's probably not going to use it that often. Um, so there probably is some use for it, but let, let me just say like it doesn't make this character, right? This is what I'm saying. Right? Like it's, it's not that kind of active that makes you say, I need to use this character to have access to this active. This is not like that. What else does it do? It gives um, blast damage up. Like this one right here, it's a lot of text. It gives blast damage up to self, uh, I think this one on here, to uh, self at the start of a quest for five turns. So five turns of blast up. Other than a hundred evils, what other thing are you going to do that lasts more than five turns? Because if you're going to do Kimochi, that's six turns. There's only one turn less than that, and if you, for some reason, use a, uh, with the new Homodai, then it's six turns anyway. But the point is, five turns versus six turns, it's like, okay, you're only gonna have one turn to Kimochi without this buff. Might as well be a passive, okay? Might as well just passively have blast up nine, okay? Which, which maybe, oh, I don't know, fucking like 50% or something, I don't know. But uh, some, some number like that. So it's gonna be doing pretty fine for like five turns, most of the Kimochi fight. And if you're doing 100 evils, it will run out at some point. Keep that in mind. Actually, there's something similar, I think, but actually, I think it's only three turns. I don't quite remember. More importantly, though, this one up here, she has flame attack up as well as regular attack up to all allies at the start of a turn, uh, as, a, as of a quest, so just passively gives it to the entire team uh, for infinite turns. She just gives it to an entire team. Every single one of uh, every single one of her allies, when the battle starts, will just have flame attack up seven and attack up three. Attack up three is maybe like, dude, I, I don't know how SE numbers work, but it might be ten percent, but it might also be fifteen percent. 
the Roman numerals don't mean fucking anything anyway, but it's a decent amount of attack up that just gives to the team, so most importantly, if you use this on Kimochi, if you have a complete flame team and you have, uh, you're in this Kimochi battle, turn one, the battle starts, everyone gets attack up and flame attribute attack up, most importantly the flame attribute attack up is the one that has the most amount of percentage to it, and so it's a normal attack up. So you're just buffing your time team quite uh, heavily, and that's pretty darn fucking good. What else do we have? We have Blast Salutation, just passively, which, sure, I guess you could get to double this way at some point, but uh, it doesn't really matter that much, uh, because you're mostly just going to be blasting, right? Her, uh, her double only buffs herself, and if you want to be in a Kimochi situation, you probably want to buff the entire team. Not to mention that it's a single target double. Which is kind of bad for Kimochi, you kind of want to have the AoE uh, functionality in there because it just does more damage than single target against the Kimochi, but you know. Pointer Sheet does pretty darn well for a Kimochi. Will she actually be good enough that she snags a spot away from someone else who is currently in like the best Kimochi team? I don't know, maybe. But if you're not a whale and you're not looking for the best 100% super whale Kimochi team for this Kimochi, then maybe it doesn't matter if she's the absolute best. The point is that she's gonna be pretty darn fucking good for Kimochi, mostly on a supportive role to just buff the entire team by just existing. You can probably play her as a level 1 character that just dies, uh, because all you need her to do really is to just exist and then she buffs the entire team passively with attack up and flame attribute attack up and then she can just die and the buff still exists, okay? Outside of that, she just does a little bit of damage, but okay. Uh, next up, we have some Game Memoria. We're gonna see a whole bunch of Game Memoria, but oh my god, these characters are so fucking gay. Uh, next up, we have the Memoria that has Charge Attack Up, which has Charge Damage Up, and Blast Up, and Fire Attack Up, which is basically the exact same stuff that she already has, except for Charge Up, which she probably has a bunch of Charge Up passively in her SE on top of that, uh, for three turns to self, which is pretty darn good on a Blaster. Like, this is one of those. Uh, Memoria makes you go, yeah, I'm gonna probably use that if I have it on the Kimochi because it's just good. And right there where she's doing some anime shit, uh, it doesn't matter, things like dodge or something. Yeah, chance you have a chance to chase. I, I, I could actually recognize this right here as either dodge or uh, evade. Are those the same? No, that's, no, that's, this right here is chance. Yeah, no, I mean this one. Dude, I don't fucking know. Moving on, the other gacha. It's Tsuyu Mizuna, aka Miss Mizuna. So we have Mizuna and Daito and they're gay with each other and oh my god, it's actually Ayaka from Genshin Impact. So Ayaka has the following uh, traits. She has a connect that gives attack up, aqua attack up and defense up. And by the way, I'm gonna probably go over the exact same stuff that I've just said for Miss Daito. I'm gonna say now for Ayaka from Genshin Impact is that she's basically the exact same character, just that she's not quite blast, but she's a little more uh, magic focused and she's aqua instead of fire, okay, she's, 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 she's water character, okay. But if you just take the entire review that I've just done for Jizuru and you just swap fire with aqua, it's basically the same idea is that she's Kimochi bait who just supports her element and doesn't do much else, okay. Let's go over, let's go over it a little bit. So uh, the connect is, aqu is aqua attack up, attack up and defense up, whoop de doo uh, the Doppel is an attribute strength and damage to a single enemy. It's the exact same fucking thing. Uh, it does remove granted effect, which is important against that Kimochi that is going to be played on. Uh, which, before then, you would use Owl for, because Owl also had that effect and was Aqua unit. Now you probably are going to use her instead. Um, also gives damage up and Aqua attack up to all allies. Owl also gave a damage up to all allies, so I think she's trying to take Owl's spot on, the ki on that Kimochi, which I think is the Ruby Kimochi, is where you play this team. Uh, where, which is where you also play Himena, so maybe she's pining for both Himena and our spot. She's like, hey, you know Himena, you know our. I'm better than both of them, is basically what she's saying right here. Uh, yeah, that's what she does. The Aqua Attack Up is five turns. She also restores HP with a doppel. What does that even matter? Like, that's completely pointless. Her uh, active is remove buffs from a single enemy, which I don't know if the if that one uses red buffs. I think it only uses grounded effects, and grounded effects you have the Magyar or Doppel for. That's good. And it also gives Aqua defense down, which I think Kim also did. I think Ulra also did that. 
It wasn't really. No, actually, I don't fucking know. Uh, and she also gets bonus MP when damaged, which is always good for Kimochi, is because it makes you get uh, to double without actually having to take discs, meaning that you can give discs to other characters. Um, so it's actually good that she has less Excel discs if she wants other characters to get their Excel discs if you use something like an Excel draw. So overall, yeah, it's pretty good for Kimochi that you get uh, bonus MP when being damaged. They also have passive MP regeneration, and she also has actually this was the MP when hit over here. This is uh, the uh, Aqua attack up and defense up at, at start of quest. So we just had Shizuru who gives everyone attack up and flame attack up uh, when the battle starts, but now we have Tsuyu, uh, I mean Ayaka from Genshin Impact, who gives uh, also Aqua attack up. It's not fire attack up, it's Aqua attack up. It's different, okay, uh, to the entire team when the battle starts, and not normal attack up, but defense up to the entire team. You see, they're different, okay. They're not the same character, but in a different element. But they're different, okay. They're, they're, they're actually totally different, okay. It's defense up, not attack up. Completely different character. Original idea. Do not steal. So yeah, overall, yeah, like I said, just trying to steal other people's spots in uh, the Ruby Kimochi uh, just by providing Aqua Defense down, by giving Aqua Attack up to the entire team uh, passively, by removing granted effects and giving damage up to the entire team, which is what Aoi does. So yeah, she's just like Himena and Aoi rolled into one and she's gonna be doing fine and she's gonna be doing great. Is she overpowered? No. Uh, does she do anything else outside of Aqua Team for Kimochi? No. Same thing goes for Chisuru. Chisuru is specifically made for flame uh, fire teams and the only place you really play flame blast teams and that sort of stuff is uh, in Kimochi anyway. So both of these characters are really just for Kimochi. They're Kimochi bait. There's gonna be a Kimochi soon in February that I just mentioned earlier in this video where you're gonna play Chisuru. So, um, yeah, you kind of see the pattern here. So next up we have another game in Moria. Uh, in this one, the effect is market damage up and double damage up. Both really good effects. As well as aqua attack up to sell for one turn. Which I think is the best active in Moria in the game if you're using an aqua damaging uh, doppel. Like if you're using an aqua damaging doppel, attribute strength and something like that. Uh, this is the best memoria that you can have on you. So yeah, once more Kimochi bait memoria as well. Who could have guessed? And another memoria down here that shows not to you, but I come from Impact has chance of critical and trust your Who cares? It's basically the, the inverse of Chizuru's uh, memoria because you can kind of guess that they're kind of like inverse of each other. You know, the one has fire, the one has aqua, the one has evade, the other one has anti evade. Wow, theming. Which I do like, actually. To, to, be, to be fair, I do actually like the kind of theming between these two characters. And yeah, they have an event together. It's not, like I said at the beginning, it's not a main story thing. It's just an event that these two have. Meaning that all the other historical Megoka events are also just going to be random normal events. And not actually like a new section of main story. Which means that if they're not going backwards in, in time with main story and they can't go forward, like they literally can't. If you haven't watched it yet, like look to some English translation channel and watch the ending of Act 2. They, they can't go forward, it's not possible um, chronologically. I'm wondering what they just do. They might just not do any other main story ever again, which is going to get events until the end of time. Like the next four or five years, just events. Which to be fair, events are better written than main story, so that's a win. That's a win for us. What is this event? This event is a, uh, a double tower event. So you get to do normal quests to get a uh, to get special items, and you use those special items to play the event. Double tower, yay! Which is going to be extremely gay. Like I, I know, I keep harping on about this, but uh, this has been hyped up, right? As Chizu, uh, as Chizuru and Tsuyu being like extremely extremely fucking gay was mentioned multiple times in the story it was an important integral part of arc 2 but these were incredibly gay people okay so keep that in mind that this is going to be something for this story keep in mind and they also have this item right here which to be honest if you look at the shape of this item it looks like an Atari 2600 controller, uh, like a gamepad that I put in here. We have more uh, Game Memorial down here that are all uh, giving you stuff. Like this is the one from Tsuyu Gacha, this is one from Chisuru Gacha, and this is the Free Memorial. So if you somehow roll on both of the Gachas, you're getting a crap ton of items. And if you can somehow find someone who has both these uh, Force of Memorial from both the Gachas, maximum break. You need to follow that person and you need to like give them a kiss or something because holy shit, it requires an insane amount of wailing to get both of these memoria to maximum break. So yeah. 
Other than that, it's a background which apparently doesn't have its own BGM. Why? Uh, and yeah, that's about that. That's the end of this news. Now, there is theoretically another news item right here, but does it really matter? Because this is just a Japanese survey asking people about what to do with the next Mirrors tournament, which is Japanese exclusive. So, if you are watching this, dear viewer, and you are a Japanese person, then you can take this survey and tell them about the Mirrors tournaments. If you're not a Japanese person, this doesn't fucking matter. But that was that. I just got demonetized by saying fuck so often, so not that that matters. Uh, but that's I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, and I'll see you guys next time.